Habitat uh, 67 was built for the World's Fair in 1967, and it grew out of my scholarship trip to study housing in North America, where I traveled in 1959, just before doing my thesis. And in fact, it was my thesis that then became the project I built for the World's Fair when I was in charge of master planning it. I saw everybody either living in high-rise buildings and hating it, the buildings of the 60s and 50s, or wishing for the suburb if they could afford it. And I came to the conclusion we've got to reinvent the apartment building. We need to find a way of doing apartment buildings where you have the quality of life of a house. Or we need to pile up houses one on top of the other instead of thinking of them as, as apartment blocks. And they ought to have gardens and they ought to have streets and they ought to have multiple exposures rather than, you know, this kind of uh, cell block. And I bought out all the Legos in Montreal at the time because we built many, many alternatives. The two to one brick was perfect. It didn't have the overhang that we eventually had in the box, but it did allow you to do all the cluster studies and was very convenient. And lo and behold, we built a building where everybody felt, yeah, that is like being in a house and loved it. For convenience, we prefabricated it. In terms of livability, it all survived. The building is loved, is inhabited intensely, is cared for. So, I mean, the only question about habitat is not whether it's appreciated, it's can we replicate it? Because the, the reaction first was, this is wonderful, but we'll never be able to do it again. You did it for a World's Fair, but how could you do it in the marketplace? Well, today we're beginning to apply this on a big scale in Singapore and China in ways that we could not conceive of in the past. I not only did not see it as a brutalist building, but well, be, before uh, building Habitat, I traveled. I saw Le Corbusier in Chandigarh. Uh, I saw the rough concrete uh, cast kind of in, in its roughness. And actually, I wanted Habitat to look like a highly finished, sophisticated product, which is why I went to precasting. And I worked very hard to get formwork that would give you really a smooth, machine-like surface rather than a brutal, rough surface, and the boxes come together as very pure geometry. So I think of it as an anti-brutalist building, reaction to brutalism. It just happened to be built in that period, but it wasn't a brutalist building.